Hello, fellow trail runners. Welcome to Mank Trailer. Today, we're gonna to be looking at the Socony Canyon TR. Right, a lovely looking shoe. As you can see, not taking them out on the on the trails yet. Plan to do that this afternoon. So um, yeah, we'll give uh, more feedback in real time as you usually do. But um, first impressions, she looks really nice. It's it's quite lightweight. Um, it's got the Power Run midsole, um, which protects from impact. Um, an eight millimeter uh, offset, which is supposed to work well on both um, trails and road. This is supposed to be a, a crossover shoe. Um, so I'm interested, obviously, you know, you need to get to the trails. You know, you're, not, you're not straight on them. Or not, or like, or if you're unlucky like me, there's a little bit of roadage to get there. Um, so you need a pair of shoes that can do um, cater for both. And this shoe apparently does that. So I'm looking forward to running in them. Um, it's got the three millimeter looks. And as you can see, there's the plate um, underneath. It's got the um, Power Track Tacky Rubber Outsole, which provides traction on wet surfaces and terrain. Nice toe box um, at the front there. It's um, form fit surrounds on um, the foot from every angle um, for additional comfort. So you see there, the the shoe hole there in the arch, it looks, it's not too narrow. Um, it's nice, looks like a nice snug fit. I wouldn't say it's for the wider foot, um, more of a medium sized foot. And it's got a, um, a breathable knit upper, which has got apparently 33% uh, recycled content. So um, yeah, looking to, really looking forward to giving these a go. Um, so I'll see you out there soon. So just over a couple of miles in and um, as I say, I've been trying to mostly stay on the road for that time because these Canyon TRs are, are meant to be like a crossover shoe. So I really want to see what like on the road before I hit the trail. Now, to be honest, it's got a, a little bit different of opinion at this moment in time. Pace wise, either I'm excited because I got a new pair of shoes on um, or the very quick shoe because that yeah, was coming under seven minute miles which which is not bad uh, pace at all but they didn't feel it in that sense they don't feel as cushioned on the hard surfaces and these flat surfaces like you know the Nike uh, Pegasus 36 for example which has got a smaller cushion overall but does feel more responsive so let's see what it's like when we we get onto the trails. I am now in some fields which are you know a bit of a trodden path on there. So if you can see shoes are holding up well. They're nice. The the worry I had before on the road is has subsided a little now uh, because the responsiveness and the cushioning is definitely kicking in now. They're not massive bumps, don't get me wrong, I mean, you can see where I'm on, but they are a bit uneven and stuff like that. And yeah, I can concentrate on running, talking to you, and not worry about having to look around because I feel quite safe and sturdy in the shoe. All right, finally found a bit of peace and quiet. Uh, this is why I don't go running at lunchtime, usually, it's a bit to the mornings. Um, Okay, so a bit further on now, now four and a half miles in. Uh, just wanted to, before I forgot, so I've started to notice my foot is slapping. The best way, best way I can think of calling or stating it is slapping on the floor. Uh, heel feels fine. Now, it could just be my running style, but the front of the shoe tends to, like I say, slap on it. You, you can feel it. I don't know if you can hear it there. I'm not um, exaggerating that, but if you can listen. Yeah, there's just a little bit of a slap of note. And the shoes are good, but one thing they're not is waterproof.
finished on the Saucony Canyon TRs. Um, impressions, I, I enjoyed the shoe once I got onto the, the trails, um, the woodlands, the grass. I think that's where it comes into its own. On the roads themselves, I wasn't particularly enjoying it. Yes, I did run quite a fast pace. Um, that was probably due to excitement of the shoe and wanting to get into the fields, the trails and stuff like that. So it might have been that reason, but it might not have been. It could have been that the shoe actually plays well on the road as well. But I just wanted a little bit more cushion on the road. Um, the cushion and support definitely comes into play when you hit the trails and stuff like that, though, for sure. Um, I found them quite responsive. Um, yeah, I, I rode all the actual bumps well, tree stumps, the gravel. It was even, as you've seen, I can quite easily do a video without looking at the floor. Um, so it gave me that stability, gave me that confidence. Um, so I, I enjoyed the shoe. I, is it a crossover shoe? Mm, not so sure, but it will get you there. So hope you've enjoyed uh, this review. Uh, the Manc trailer of the Saucony Canyon TR. If you have, please subscribe. There will be new videos to come in the near future. So I wanted to do a bit of footnote on this, basically, because uh, I just wanted to give them the, the time of day, really. Um, my review uh, previously was like, they were uh, not so sure shoes. So that was the first outing. So I'll give them a couple more. Um, I think I've reached a verdict now. Um, in terms of a crossover, you know, they will get you there. I've said that before. Um, I've been umming and ahhing about this, so I've, I've run on them two or three times now, and yeah, they, they will get you there. Um, there's more cushioning in the back of the shoe than the forefront. Um, it depends on your running style, really, but I have, I'm all run with um, my toes and stuff like that, so um, that's why probably I've been feeling a little bit more pressure um, than normal. Um, other than that, in wet conditions, um, in muddy conditions, uh, there's not much grip at all, I'm afraid. It's um, you're all over the show. Um, you know the lugs, the traction, they're not that dense and thick um, that it will stick in there and give you that grip that you need. Um, so these are really for your drier conditions, I would say for sure. Um, now in spring in the UK, that's not necessarily a good thing because it's usually wet. Um, so you know, just take that with a, a pinch of salt, really, when you when you're buying these and, and consider. Um, the weather conditions, I would say.